Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? How you doing? It's Petra here, your queen of high ticket sales. And I'm so excited because I have on one of my amazing clients, okay? And she's going to come on and really share with, with you what she was able to accomplish working with us and using the certainty method. So what I want you to do is as you're coming on, coming on, coming on, say hi, hi, hi. All right, say hi to me, hi to Jacqueline, all right? And then also, you can actually ask any question that you have, okay? You can ask any question, and myself and Jacqueline will be here to answer, all right? So who do we have on live? Give me a hi in the chat. Let me see that you're here, because we have an amazing client testimonial who's going to be sharing with you exactly what she's been able to achieve in her business, all right? using the certainty yeah. method all right so hi jacqueline how are you doing hey i'm good i'm good how are you i'm doing great thank you so i'm really excited to be speaking to you today can you just share with us exactly what it is that you do okay so my name is jacqueline shaw i am an african fashion business coach very unique market and unique niche but what i do is equip creative entrepreneurs to create and build sustainable fashion made in africa businesses mm -hmm. so sourcing manufacturing in on african continent wow i had no idea that even existed <laughs> so I know I, <laughs> i'm really been educated and that's what i love that you know so many amazing women have got so many different gifts and talents and you've literally been able to transform your business so can you share with us what your business like was before and how you've kind of transitioned or transformed okay so i've been running my business for nearly 10 years which is just crazy when i think about it and I just did it organically. So I had a good um, community. I would do events, I would do um, take people to Africa and so forth. But what I didn't do is enough of the coaching. I had a lot of questions, um, but I didn't know how to organize myself to be able to give the information to people. So I was doing hourly sessions. I think I started at 75 pounds an hour um charging people that much um but it was all one hour at a time sometimes two hours i was lucky to get that but i never did anything more than that um and then last year i got a couple of clients who i took a little bit longer three months training with them but it was still trying to get that price up i was tired i said i need a system i need to put things in place i need a way of working um and then came across this blonde head black lady <laughs> and um, I just said I just need to know a system because I'm, I'm doing this buddy I, I want to be able to like I'm doing now just come on holidays and I have to think about my business um, so that's what I wanted and I couldn't I could go away but I could never really automate things or never really organize myself right so mm -hmm. now I've got a system in place and I've got processes I've got um, programs as well and yeah it's it's ongoing it's it's, it's a journey but i feel like mm -hmm. i can see where i'm going which is much better yeah. than before wonderful those of you that are joining us live hello 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 we are on speaking to one of my amazing clients that done so so well and she's going to share with you what she's been able to accomplish what she's been able to achieve um, and she just shared with us that you were charging £75 an hour. I didn't even know that, Jacqueline. Yeah. <laughs> Before, I, didn't, I had yeah. no clue you were doing that. So you were charging £75 an hour, and you've been working in your business for 10 years. Um, but you wasn't really coaching at that time, even though people were asking you for questions, uh, people asking you questions. So share with us then. What was the first coaching package that you created? And also, if you don't mind, can you also share with us what you then began to charge? Now, the reason why I'm asking you this and the reason why I, um, I, I really want to share this with people is because 
it doesn't matter where you are in your business in terms of how much you're charging you can charge high ticket so do you want to just um share that with us please jacqueline um yes yeah, so the first program so i did the um, the money month with with yourself with Petra, mm -hmm. in august i believe it was august Mm -hmm. And then um, that was a whole month. It was yeah, mornings and evenings. <laughs> and then after that, I, I I just I just went to implement, and I didn't know what I was doing. I just trusted the process. So Jacqueline, do this, do this, do this, and I was okay. So then I just tried it out, and then I created a group program which was three thousand twelve week um, group program for designers and brands who wanted to set up in Africa. And the five day challenge on Facebook, that's what led me to get um, five people who signed up for the, um, there was six, but then one kind of backed out. So it was five who mm -hmm. signed up in the end. And then, um, yeah, so then I charged them that and they, I just did the discovery calls. I wasn't really too sure, too confident, but I just followed the script and just put my details in there. And Petra helped me to work out you know, there was something that we did, but I can't remember what you call it, but you start off by saying no. the what? solutions that you can provide for them. Yes. So what so Jeff is talking about there is um, there's a system within the certainty method. And basically what I, I, I teach is the problem solution, the result method. Right. right. But what I wanted to really emphasize and share, Jacqueline, you received a ton of discovery calls. I mean a ton of discovery calls. And it was absolutely amazing. You received a ton. And you was actually be, you're able to create your first high ticket, first ever group coaching program. How does that make you feel? It felt good. I couldn't really believe that it was real. Um, and I, I had to just go through a process of just trusting that to keep telling myself, you know what you're talking about. You can do this. Mm -hmm. You've got done all, got all the information um, that, you know, you've done before, you the trainings that you've been building all this up. So now we're just to facilitate it into a proper package. Um, oh, I should actually mention, I did do something a few years ago, but I was charging ridiculously low amount. And it was, that's what I thought it was worth. And I was just desperate to get people and people did join, but, this is where I actually up leveled. So I had loads of discovery calls. It was scary. It was, it wasn't easy, but I just followed the process and just like, okay, they were paying in full, um, or we split it in payment plans. So it was, it was a difference, but people were paying and, um, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. And that was and September, October, I think. And, and I love the fact that you says that before it was, you know, people, it was, you kind of, you're kind of really pushing your message and um, people weren't really buying. And it's just amazing how, even though you were charging 75 pounds an hour before, people weren't buying. But then now that you literally up leveled, you decided to expand and um, you follow the process and now charge it well. And then you were charging $3,000. So that was your first launch. And you enrolled, what, five people? So you yeah. made, what, about 18,000 in your first launch? And that's without spending any money on advertising, which is- Yeah, I did it all organically. All organic. Yeah. So that was in about October. So do you want to share with us what happened in December? And I, and I, I do really want you to share this story because we have to understand that as entrepreneurs, we have, um, we have to have tenacity. All right. And when Jacqueline shares this story, you'll be able to see the tenacity that the tenacity she had, the certainty, the consistency, um, and 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 the I'm gonna do itness, right? So do you want to just share with us what happened in December? Yeah, so I remember yeah, you know, I got pumped, I was ready, I think and okay, I started the other one, that's nearly finishing, so I'm gonna do it for December, Christmas going to push that month I'm going to get I think I wanted like 50,000 pound launch I said that no I wanted 15 people that's why I said well 50, mm -hmm. even now that's a lot to carry anyway but I wanted 15 people and I was like yes 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 did the process again this time with ads I think I had 400 people signed it was quite good signed up 
-hmm. And it was like, wow, you know, all these people went through the challenge, did the same challenge as before. I just updated a little few details here and there. And I've got loads of calls, loads of calls. I kept putting in the group, yet yeah, decision-making call. And I was excited, but then people were coming through the process and they just weren't buying. They weren't, mm. they just weren't following things through. And I was just like, I started to feel down and I started to feel like what's going on. But I thought, okay, ignore that, ignore that feeling. You've got more days. That was just Monday. Then the next few days, the weekend I started with calls after the challenge. And Monday came and people were interested, but I think I was just messing up with the calls. I was messing up with what I was saying. Maybe I was overexcited. Maybe I was unsure. And then each day somebody would, say, no, I think about it, or I don't have the money, or I'll speak to my husband, and then they'll come back to me, or they never came back to me. I just started to feel more and more despondent. <laughs> then I started to post, after the end of that week, end of all the calls, nobody, nobody had booked. Wow. And I felt so low, and I remember posting the group, you know, is it, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Um, I don't get it. I, you know, and I didn't want. No, you say you know, if there's something that's happening, you got to look in within really what you're doing. Mm -hmm. you can't blame anybody. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I can't blame anybody, but I thought I was following the system. What's going on? Why is it not going well? And mm -hmm. then Petra looked through some of my discovery call um, videos, gave me some advice. It was hard. Gave me some feedback. It was hard. And I just said to myself after that, you know what? I can't. I can't deal with this right now because I feel so crap basically mm -hmm. i'm gonna have christmas i'm gonna chill and then reboot for the new year but i can't i can't handle it right now i felt so crap and okay. then what happened and then january i started decided i knew the last january I've, i tried something in my facebook group which was a 21 day challenge and mm -hmm. last time i did it i had no upsell i didn't have no process i had no system i just took people through 21 days and had nothing to sell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they all enjoyed it, but I got nothing from it. This time I said, I'm going to do it. I mapped it out, did it clearly. And I remember you saying from the beginning, start selling from the beginning. I just started doing that. I started to sell my program. Mm -hmm. And I was actually selling um, an online course. That mm -hmm. was what I was thinking through. But then people were interested to buy and booking calls from the first few days. Mm -hmm. So then in, um, with that in the end, I had... Um, seven people who bought who, who bought five of them were for the they wanted the one-to-one -one. and then there was two who wanted to buy the course and another um two have bought since since that um so that's now, now four on the course and course and five who are in my new group and i lifted my price to five thousand so it went from three thousand to five and the reason why I love this story is because Kathleen <laughs> went from selling $75 an hour, £75 an hour, launched her first ever group coaching program at 3000 per person, all right? Had a second launch that didn't go according to plan, and she did it again the next time and raised her fee to 5000 mm. And this is the thing. So it's like... Imagine, like people always ask me, when is the best time to raise your fees? When you want, when you have a clear system of how you're going to be bringing in those clients and you have got the mindset and the tenacity and the work mode to do it, it's going to get done. So I'm just really, really proud of, of, of you, Jacqueline, for doing that and for going through that. And can you just share as well um, what, what the... Um, in terms of working with us and us and, our, and me and the team, what kind of support that you had as well? So within the training, there is the regular sessions with, so there's a group, the group of meetings. Okay, I'm getting a little worried back. Can you hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you. There's a group meetings that we have, the Monday sessions, I think there's a web, there's like two group meetings during the week. And then there's mindset sessions um, with one of them, the team from Petra. There's um, a lady in the group who does the Facebook ads. So she's been doing my ads for the last four months. And there's um, Ruth who also gives um, some support on your copy as well. That's another thing. 
when mm. I look for her training, that's what's helped me to set up my sales page, which was really useful as well to see the steps to go by to do a sales page and to give me mm -hmm. feedback. But then a one-to-one -one picture is really the time that you can go deeper into what it is that you're doing wrong or what you're doing right. You know, maybe you're really doing well um, yeah. and what to do next. So there's, yeah, various levels of support, various levels of um, people in the group. And, you know, everybody listens to everybody, everybody supporting each other, encouraging. You can post in the group, I feel crap today, you can post in the group. Um, I did really well, people will boost you up, you know. So there is different support from the team, support from each other as well, mm -hmm. which is really good. Brilliant. So I'm so excited. So what would you say then to people that are thinking about working with me? So say that again, like cut out. Why so what would you say? What would you say to people who are currently thinking about working with me? I say get yourself ready because it's high energy. Um, so you have to have the high energy to keep up. And I'll just say if if you've been thinking about it for a while, there's no better time to start than now. There's always, like I even say to my own clients, there's always going to be something that gets in the way of life. That, so if you really want it, do it. Um, Petra will keep you on track. She will be very bluntly honest with you. So you can't be a weakling. You've got to be tough and know that it's to better you because um, it was really tough for me to take that hard feedback. Uh -huh. So take it on board as something to better where you're going. Um, but just go through it. I mean, it's an investment. It's for your business. You know, do it for you and you will see results. So just put the time in. And chase if you need questions answered. Chase. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. So what I want you to do is, if right now you're at a space in your business where maybe you are charging by the hour, all right, or you've hit an income ceiling, a plateau, and you haven't got a system to be generating consistently pre-qualified leads into your business, and especially if you do now want to really charge high ticket, you want to start a group coaching program, all you need to do is book a call with me and go to talktopetra.com, all right? Go to talktopetra.com and I'd love to hear from you, all right? So thank you so much, Jacqueline, for this. And I'm so excited for what else we're going to be doing, all right? So everyone that's watching, thank you for watching. And remember to go to talktopetra.com to book your call. And we will see you again very soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.